Hey guys, it's Miss K Chris and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to answer some questions that you posted on my Instagram picture. So I posted an Instagram picture a couple of days ago and now I'm going to answer them. Okay, so let's do this. Okay, so the first question that we have right here is from Marielle Austria. Okay, Marielle Austria, San Capo graduate ng college. I graduated in the University of the Visayas, sa Cebu, and that's I graduated with a course of nursing, and I'm also um, a registered nurse. Uh, DLPZ size asking can a married aspiring cabin attendant still be hired yes you can still be hired of course um, I think with Qatar Airways it's okay they still accept you and, and also ano yung ibang airlines they're okay naman um, sa ano lang sa Philippines lang I'm not so sure kasi sometimes they require single so if nakalagay dun sa advertisement single they will hire you na single lang but if walang nakalagay that means they accept married applicants so usually sa mga questions like this it depends on each and every airline there's no one answer fit all so you have to check the qualification in every time that they are hiring kasi minsan nagbabago din so you might get the chance the next time they hire or something like that so make sure that you check it Okay, Bautista X Eileen says, Miss K, sold out na po yung book niyo sa Shopee. Yes, the book is sold out right now sa Shopee, Miss uh, Eileen. So, it's going to be restocked by the end of February. So, don't worry, I already ordered from the printers. It's just like this, medyo matagal lang talaga mag-print. It will take a month or two for them. Depende sa volume ng uh, orders nila with other authors. So, yeah, <laughs> just wait for it by February. I will announce once the book is available already. Okay, sorry, I'm just going to the questions at random here. <laughs> uh, I, uh, okay, I, I try not to read too long questions. <laughs> sorry, wait lang. Tuwasan Mark is asking, I'm planning to enroll in Omni Aviation Corporation for their training. Do you suggest for me to continue enrolling or will the money be worth it? Or I'll just apply directly to airlines. Thank you. You know what, to Mark, the... The answer to this question will depend to you, to your own needs and um, your own qualifications. I mean, your own personality. Because uh, some of us are very shy and in a shell. And sometimes personality development can really help on that. Uh, and that's the time when aviation will help you out. Sa mga ganito. Also, if you have no idea about the aviation world, they could really enlighten you into that and also help you with the hiring process. But if you are somebody who is, you know, uh, somebody like me, I didn't go to any of this, uh, I just tried to do it by myself. I tried to uh, apply directly, and what happened to me is that I was able to learn through all the rejections that I faced. So it took me a total of eight years to get to the position that I want to so yeah it depends on you I'm not saying that if you go to a school it will be less than eight years but um, it really depends on the situation so for me I didn't have a choice walang FA school sa Cebu so I have to do it that way and but for you if you have a chance to do it if you think it's for you if you need help with your um, confidence level but if you're confident naman to go through the hiring process by yourself and try to learn through your own experience then go for it without the the ano, the FA school but yeah like I'm saying it really depends on who you are what level is your confidence and um, how how resilient are you when it comes to rejections so if okay lang sa'yo na re reject palagi it's okay you could like um, step us just go for it directly and try to learn from that but if you want some kind of coaching I would suggest this to some people but ang dami kong sinabi it just means it really depends on you and your situation okay lovely GTRRZ says hi Miss Cakers I wanted to ask you something about the age retirement of flight attendant I'm a little bit confused of choosing a job for my future I'll be uh, in college next school year I love flight attendant and it was my big dream since I was a little girl I'm worried about the age retirement for instance 
if I'm fine then if I reach 40 and above can I still work at least in the airport services okay I guys I hope that you next time you just send really I know short messages because it's kind of hard to <laughs> tamad lang. So anyways okay I will try my best to read all of this okay but you know my battery is just one bar right now let's see and baby might wake up anytime so <laughs> let's see as many questions as we can as this um, camera battery can go on but to answer your question lovely uh, no you don't need to retire at 40 it depends on you on what age you want to retire I have known a lot of flight attendants in my previous job that they're in their 50s uh, they're still flying they're already uh, grandmoms and they're already mga lola literally and they still fly it really depends on you and also it's up to you if you want to stay being a cabin crew uh, actually if you're a cabin crew after a few years you have the chance to to improve or to accelerate your uh, your career you could become an instructor you could become a business class you could become a grooming officer you can become a first aid instructor you could become a quality you know a line checker that means you check your crew on the flight and things like that it depends on your performances and then you have to apply also within the company so it doesn't mean that if you're a flight attendant you're stuck there it can only become a dead-end job if you let yourself be uh, in a dead-end job situation but honestly it's not a dead-end job situation there are many career paths along the way for that but also um, you have to think differently these days especially uh, the new generation right now I really advocate financial literacy so that means think of a career not just because that is gonna be your source of income for the rest of your life think of a career as your source of happiness and at the same time so when you're doing your career you take care of your financial house so what do i mean by that um you make sure na you don't spend all your money on luxury bugs you spend your money on businesses you save and so that one day you don't have to depend on a job anymore to to live <laughs> you know so that is just that's my opinion I'm sure all of you other have other uh, all of all of ah, others have other different opinions about this but for me the flight attendant job is just a step stepping stone for me to get higher income and that higher income I have to convert it into something else and that was my plan I wasn't planning to becoming a flight attendant all my life when I was there so you could watch my I quit my job video and see what happened uh, to my career nowadays the companies or the world doesn't work that way anymore now you have a career and your career will take care of you that doesn't work anymore these days so make sure that you change your mind change your thinking get financially educated that's my answer to you <laughs> lovely sorry masyadong mahaba <laughs> Okay, next question. Tan Fresa. Hi, Miss K. Chris. Ano pong possible questions sa interview ng FA? Thank you po and God bless. Well, possible questions is tell me about yourself. Uh, what are you doing right now? Uh, did you apply to us before? Why do you want to apply to our airlines? And uh, what is your strengths? What is your weaknesses? What is your edge among other candidates? Can you sing a song in English? Can you sing a song in Tagalog? So that's for Air Asia. Uh, can you smile your biggest smile? Something like that. So uh sometimes your final interview is more of a conversation lang so it's free flowing uh, it's more like uh, an open-ended question like can you tell me of the time that you have overcome the biggest challenge that you faced in your life something like that so you have to structure answers accordingly as well so good luck in applying tan fresa January 12 is asking, Hi Miss K. Chris, is it still possible to apply for cabin crew even if you're already 27? It's okay. I have one locking tooth. You feel your tooth like a an implant or bridge. Thank you so much. Okay, so January. Yes, it's still uh, possible to become a flight attendant at 27. I'm actually 27 when I got hired with Oman Air, my uh, international flight attendant uh, job. So, there's also ano pag asa for you. There's still hope for you. Uh, I also have a missing tooth sa molar. I still have it. It's still missing. So I was hired with Philippine Airlines Express with a missing tooth, and I was also hired with Oman Air with a missing tooth. So it's not an uh, a must for you to fix it. But uh, if you want to fix it, go ahead and fix it. 
Jemmy, can can you directly apply in an airline after graduating a four-year course or you still need to have a working experience on that particular course to be able to apply as an FA? Thank you. So what if you're a nurse? Do you need to be <laughs> to have an experience as a nurse before you become a flight attendant? I hope that that's what you mean. Okay, so Jemmy, no, you don't you can apply directly after you uh, no, they accept fresh graduates okay sorry guys the battery died and yeah i have to stop talking uh, i just have to finish that uh, question okay so who, who was that again Vishaka Ag is asking ma'am uh, i want to get my confession clear if do i need to have an aviation degree I want to finish my BSc Maths this year. So no, you don't need to have an aviation degree. You can still apply as a flight attendant even if you don't uh, graduate as a tourism graduate, okay? And Maria Kaa says, I just want to ask, Maria Mikaa says, Ms. K. Chris, I just want to ask, kung hindi ba nag ang mga airlines na applicants na ka-braces pa? Are they strict to that? At kung ano pong kinukuha nila sa cabin ko? Facial features, facial features ba? Maganda or karakterik so much for. Well, you can apply while you still have your braces, but if you get hired, you have to take off your braces by the moment that you start the first day of training. Yun ang alam ko. And also, I really don't know what they're looking for when they hire you. Of course, chamber a little bit of everything. It couldn't be just the face or just the character. It has to be the face and the character, I think. It also depends if you're a good fit for their company, depending on what kind of culture they have and things like that. So, good luck to your application, Maria. Okay. So, okay. Kehara Yura says, oh my god, this is so long. I don't know if I have the time to read it. Okay. Well, my advice maybe just um, keep on applying because sometimes it needs a little bit of luck also when you are applying and um, if you didn't get it the first time it uh, it is up to you if you want to pursue it again or not because nobody can really tell if you will get it again the next time or you know nobody can live your own life so it's your decision should you continue pursuing it or not okay and just keep on practicing okay uh, all right, so next question. Shopee Lixir, she's asking, uh, I applied for QR last August. I went through the finals and we just, oh, okay, I read this before. Parang natanggal ka lang just like that on the last ano, email, regret email. Okay, so you know what? You are so lucky that you get through the final uh, stages of QR even if it's your first time to apply congratulations that's a great accomplishment uh, I know that it's heartbreaking that they they um, they sent you a regret email the last minute I've been through the same exact same thing that's what happened to me with my application with Qatar Airways as well ay nako wala pala akong mic ayun hello mic test I hope that I'm clear now so ayun uh and uh, for Shop Elixir, what I can say for you is that um, don't lose hope. Just keep on trying. Um, be the best version of yourself. You know, if you need to get rid of that scar, get rid of it. Um, it's not the end of the world. You can still try again next time. And I know it's heartbreaking and mahirap talaga to face rejection, but we all have to do it. We all have to face rejection in our life in some point of time just have it doesn't get better it still hurts every single time but we just get better at coping with it so good luck to you and i hope you uh get better luck next time okay all right so daughter of Eero says uh hi i have a question if i cannot if i can only reach 202 centimeters do you think there is a possibility they want me in? Thanks. Um, actually you cannot enter the door if you don't reach the 212 centimeters so you really need to to reach 212 centimeters with Qatar Airways they are particular in that that's their fetish or that's their thing uh, I've noticed that every airline has a thing like for example Saudi Airlines you really have to have your BMI if not you will not even get to the next stage and also with Qatar this is their thing you have to reach 212 centimeters I think it's for safety reasons and things like that because of the safety equipments the airplane uh, okay so I guess that's it I guess I have answered all of the questions 
um, and uh, thank you so much for participating on this Instagram post and thank you for sending in your questions and that is uh, what we have on this video today I'm sorry I'm talking so fast all right uh, my battery is about to run out again and uh, my baby is sleeping right now so I just want to get this uh, video out there be able to answer your questions I know you guys have been waiting so I hope that this helped you out if it did give it a thumbs up subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet been already subscribed and i will say i will see you on the next video bye